So let's take a look at the free sourcing tool from recruiting.com. You can find it at websearch.recruiting.com. Really, there are two quick ways to use this tool. Enter your keywords and enter, enter your location, hit search resumes, or you can use their advanced search feature. Let's start off by using the very basic search. Enter in a keyword. We'll use a job title, in this case, software engineer. And uh, let's just use Philadelphia as a location. Go ahead and hit search resumes. That will get you to the results page. And they actually display the results in a very easy and quick way uh, for you to read. You can see your results here in the center. Obviously, 6,900 results is some obnoxious number. Uh, not going to be relevant. And we that's because we obviously kept that very vague. Now, if you notice on the right-hand side, you've got filters that you can use to sort out your resumes. In this specific search, we use the general web sources, we use that, which is the open web, Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. We also use LinkedIn uh, and JResume. Now, if you look at the icons, it will tell you where it came from. Obviously, uh, the LinkedIn will have the LinkedIn button, and this is actually going to represent the uh, open web. So if we go ahead and click a LinkedIn result just to show you here, uh, obviously, we don't know if I'm connected to this person or not because I'm not signed into LinkedIn and that's a key feature here. you don't need to be signed in however you do see the full profile and you can view the full profile so with all the uh, questions around how to search LinkedIn currently to find the profiles and all the changes that may be taking place at LinkedIn here's another way to get around not being connected to a particular candidate now let's just go ahead and click off of LinkedIn and J resume choose visual CV Keep the same results, hit search resumes, it will go ahead and update your results only showing resumes from Visual CV. Go ahead and click the Visual CV link for the resume that you want to see. That brings you directly to the Visual CV of that particular individual. Now let's go back and take a look at the advanced search features and you can find that right underneath the search resumes button. It's a very basic boolean string builder. You can enter your keywords, so if we enter, let's just say, under exact phrase, we'll say software engineer. And you can see at the top, it's actually building the string for me, so I don't necessarily need to use quotes. All these keywords, yeah, I need C++, which, in fact, Google will not pick up the plus plus. This does a really good job of counteracting that. Uh, so let's go C++ and we'll say ASP and let's just say SDLC. We'll keep it simple. Uh, one or more of these words, that's going to be the or statement. So all these words will be the end. The exact phrase is obviously the exact phrase. And let's just say design, develop. Uh, or here we'll make that developed. And we'll say architect. Okay. And none of these words, we don't want to see VP, we don't want to see vice president. And you've got to be careful what you add in in the none of these words feature. You don't want to add in words that are going to eliminate too many really good resumes. And VP or vice president may actually do that because if you report it to a VP and you're saying that, but you're just a senior software engineer, you're not going to actually see that person. So uh, we're just going to keep it in there for, th for this example. But be very cautious. Location, let's just say Philadelphia. Uh, we'll do that. And you can see here it adds near Philadelphia. So it's going to get all the zip codes and all the area codes as well. Choose, your lo choose the area where you want to see the resume from. Go ahead and hit search. And again, your results are displayed for you in an easy-to-read manner right there in the center of the page. You can see here we have 16 results that were found. And the bolded words are the words uh, for which you were searching. See Software Engineering, Greater Philadelphia, ASP. Um, and as you go down, you can see more of your results. Again, simply click the link. That will open up the profile. And you can also go ahead and hit View Full Profile. And that will allow you to see the entire profile of this particular individual. So there you have it. It's recruiting.com at websearch.recruiting.com. This is a free tool from recruiting.com for you to use. If you're a paid member of recruiting.com, they do have some very strong metrics for you to measure your return on what you're actually searching that could prove to be pretty beneficial to your process.